Hi everybody, Jared Johnson here. Um, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to close an option trade on Tastyworks web-based platform. Um, in the previous video, I talked a little bit about how to open a trade on Tastyworks, uh, how to open an option trade, and there's a lot of details involved. It's easy, but there's a, a bunch of different things we need to discuss, so I wanted to break this up into a couple of videos. So again, this is the web-based platform for Tastyworks. We're gonna talk about how to close a single option and how to close uh, certain option trades that have multiple options per position, like a credit spread or an iron condor or something like that. So we're gonna discuss those details right here, right now. Okay, as we look on my screen here, you can see that uh, I have a couple of trades that say two OPT, that means two options. These are credit spreads, right? That's a credit spread. But this one right here, that's a naked option. That is a, uh, a, a naked put. I sold uh, just a naked put here on M, uh, on Macy's. That's some shares of stock. So we're gonna talk all about all this here, but let's let's discuss here how um, how we, first of all, would close a, a type of trade like a credit spread or an iron condor that's gonna have multiple options per trade or per position. So on American Airlines right here, if I click on this, if this were an iron condor, this would say four OPT, four options in that position. Uh, if this were other strategies that have different numbers of options, it would say two, three, four, and so on. Um, in this case, this is just a credit spread, so I just have a, a, a short put and a long put. I have two options for one trade. Um, and so when I expand that, I can see that I, negative one right there, sold the $16, or sorry, $17 put, and I bought the $16 put. And it's going to have all my details in here, how much I'm making, and the current status of the trade, and so on. If I want to close this trade, it's a really easy process. I need to click on the individual strike prices um, to be able to do that. So I'm going to click right here, that's 17, the top one, and it's going to bring up this close or this, this button of options here, right? I can close my position, close in profit, roll, and so on. That's telling me that I have one of two selected because this is a two position trade or a two option trade. This is saying, hey, you've only got one of the two selected. So then I need to, if I want to close the whole entire trade out, I need to go down here and click on the 16. So I've clicked on 17 and 16, and now it's saying, okay, you have two of two selected. Now for a typical credit spread, all I'm going to do is close positions, right? I'm not going to use any of these other buttons, and you can play around with those a little bit and kind of get familiarized with those, but for the most part, we're just using the close position button. I'm going to hit close position. It's going to bring up this what looks like our trade box, and that's that's what it is. But it's gonna tell us what our parameters are for closing this position. Now, we don't need to reverse everything. You know, I, I sold to open and bought to open. Do I need to go in and do that for, you know, to close out? Yes, we do need to do that, but Tastyworks, the platform will just do it for us, right? So we don't have to say, okay, I bought to open and sold to open, now I've gotta buy to close and sell to, you know, and, and so on, right? Um, Tastyworks will do that all for us. Remember, on a credit spread, for example, uh, you can see right here on a credit spread, um, when we start it off, it'll, it'll start off as a net credit. When we're closing a credit spread, it's gonna show up as a net debit, and that's normal and that's how it should be. So that's a net debit right there. That's saying that's, uh, um, that's what we're gonna be selling, uh, or sorry, buying uh, uh, our way out for, right? So if I like those parameters, it's already reversed everything for me. If I like those numbers and I say, yep, that looks good, then I hit review and send and it says, okay, if this order gets picked up, I'm going to get out with a $2 loss, right? And it's also gonna tell me how much my buying power is gonna be increased by and so on. If I say, well, actually, I just kinda wanna put in this order. I wanna buy my way out for, you know, for a little bit less. I wanna keep some profit. I'm just gonna put this order on so that whenever it gets there, whenever that is, this order will be picked up and I don't have to think about it again, right? So I can just make that a lower number. I was paid 50 cents to get in and I'm gonna buy my way out for 30 cents. That's gonna leave me with a $20 profit. If I send that through, then that is now an order that is placed. And I can go over here, back over to my AAL trade and I can say, okay, here is my trade, 30 cents. That's a 30 cents debit to get out. Right now, the, the option spread is trading at 51. So obviously it has to move about uh, 21 cents in my favor to pick, pick up the trade and get me out. If I say, yep, that looks good, then I, I can just minimize that. Now it says two options plus one WK, one working order. 
and that's good, and we're done. If I say, you know what, actually, I'm just going to let this run, I can cancel my order by clicking cancel, and cancel that order or keep that order. I can also edit the order. If I say, eh, I don't want to get out at 30 cents, I want to get out at 35 cents, I can hit edit order, move that to 35, scroll up here a little bit, and that's going to tell me, okay, instead of making 20 bucks, I'm going to make $15. And I can send that through, and now that is reflected over here. Now it's saying I'm trying to get out at 35 cents. Doesn't change that this is still trading at 51, so it won't be picked up until it gets there. That's how we close an order. If you're anxious to get out of a trade, if you're saying, holy smokes, I gotta get out of this thing right now, the best thing to do is once again, click on the individuals right there, close position. And if you say, I wanna get out of this thing right now, you can see that the spread right now is 49 and 53, right? You can say, well, I'm gonna try to get out at 52. That'll get me out with a little bit of a loss, but that would probably pick the trade up very quickly. If if in a credit spread, um, I want to get out you know, much more quickly, then I say, well, I'm willing to pay more to get out, which means I'm giving more money back and I'm losing a little bit more. And that gets me out with a $3 loss, but that would be picked up. If I go to this closer part, this natural price, that's going to pick up the trade much more quickly and I'm going to be able to get out more quickly. Now there's... We have to think about this. If you're just buying a call option, then just think about the logic. The, the more money you want to make on the trade, the more difficult it will be to get out, right? The less money you're willing to make on the trade, the quicker you can get out. Uh, debit spreads and credit spreads, you know, same kind of concept. On a credit spread here, the more money we are willing to pay to get out, because we have to buy our way out, the quicker we can get out. The more money we want to keep in exiting, the more slowly we'll be able to get out uh, and, and it'll be a little bit more of a dragged out process. So that's more in the, on the side of credit spread, debit spread, call put options, being an option buyer and seller theory. But just kind of think about that. But just know you can adjust your prices up and down right here. It will tell you uh, what your profit or loss is gonna be and you can send that right on through. Now likewise, with a credit spread, uh, one thing that I do quite often, actually, is I'll close one leg of my credit spread. Oftentimes, I get assigned on credit spreads, meaning they force me to buy the stock, which I love. Um, and if I do that, usually I'll close just my buy to open put, for example. And if you want to just close one of the two options in a credit spread or, or two of the four options in an iron condo or whatever you want to do, you can just click on the one you want to close. If I say, yep, I'm just going to close that guy right there, it's going to say one of two selected, and I say, yep, that's fine close that order i can tell where i want to buy or sell that position review and send and it'll tell me how i'm going to get out of that you know what's going to happen to my buying power uh all of that stuff i hope that's helpful in how to close a an option trade on tastyworks uh, hopefully that that helps you guys uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate i'm here and more than happy to help thanks everybody